Hey there, Fastus here. This is just a series of guides uh, setting up the kit as a server-based MMO. We're going to first look at the MySQL database um, setup. Now the kit out of the box supports um, SQLite and MySQL. SQLite is by default used for pretty much everything and in fact can be used for an MMO. It probably should be used as the MMO when you're initially developing and you just want to have a, a server on like a small machine used by the couple of testers and, and a couple of developers. It means you don't need to worry about setting up databases, you don't need to worry about upgrading the server or upgrading the tables and fields and what have you. It just works straight out of the box and it's pretty powerful even though it's called SQL Lite. Now eventually of course you're probably going to want to upgrade to MySQL and you've probably used it seen it before but it's a much more powerful uh, SQL type database. Most web pages, Apache servers, whatever else all use it. Now the setup uh, for the databases and if you go to your 00 and net scene MMO. Uh, you'll see there is a MMO server instance. Within that, you will see a database network manager. If we have a look at that, we'll see that it's got a couple of databases set up a MySQL database and a SQLite database. And by default, um, we're set up to the MySQL database in the in the MMO. Everything else will be pretty much defaulting to SQLite, but the, the MMO server likes MySQL. If we have a look at the MySQL database, we'll see there's only a few things we need to change. The address of, this, of the database server, uh, this is probably going to be localhost or 127.0.0.1. Uh, if you have a bit more of a complicated system and your database server is running on another machine, you'll need a different address there. Uh, this port, probably this, uh, 3306 is the default for MySQL. For, yeah, MySQL. Your username, you notice here I've got root. Uh, by default it's just set up for root and I'm using root here. Ideally you probably want to set up your own user specifically for the game MMORPG user or game user with its own password and its own security rights. By default the root connection to a MySQL database can do anything drop all databases, delete all users, trash everything. You probably don't want that accessible in the game server. Uh, so you'd set up like a, a your own different username and say it has permission to uh, add, add, edit and delete the data from the tables, maybe create tables, maybe not, I'm not sure it's required, uh, delete data, but not certainly not drop tables, certainly not create users or delete users, and certainly not drop databases. Whatever the username you've chosen, you will need the password here. This is actually, when I try to create this, is, this is an insecure password. It wanted something far more complicated than that. And your database name. Now, the MySQL server can support multiple databases at once. Ideally, your game will need its own database name. Although, to be honest, you could shove everything into one big database, but that will cause you problems down the line because um, what happens if the kit wants to use a table with the same name as something else does? So, you'll need a unique database name, and by default, it's just called MMORPG Kit. This is the only real MySQL stuff you need to change. So, uh, most likely, you're going to be running on a cloud server or a Unix server somewhere and your interface into MySQL will be PHP My Admin. They all kind of look like this. They're very, very similar. Um, and you'll want to do, on initial creation, three things. Create your new user with its um, its settings. Uh, you do it via user accounts and, you know, a secular password and what privilege it needs, etc., etc. Uh, the second thing you will need to do is create a database. Uh, database MMORPG kit which matches the name here. And the third thing you're going to want to do is to create the tables. Uh, now the kit itself comes with a SQL script that will do that for you. You'll also notice there's a lot of other SQL scripts here. So when the server, when the kit actually gets upgraded, sometimes the schema for the, t for the database or the tables changes. Say if you're on 1.43 and you've upgraded to 1.44, you will need to run this script to update the columns and tables and what have you on the server uh, to the latest version, otherwise your server's not going to work. But when you're starting out, of course, you just need that one. And that one will do a bunch of stuff and create a bunch of tables. I won't do it, it's quite slow. Now, your other option on a Windows machine is you might want to set up your own uh, Windows MySQL server. Now there's a few options for that obviously. I've, um, I've got a link for one down below. Uh, that um, I recommend when you go to their web page just download the installer. It says that it's an x86 installer. It probably just means the installer itself but it will install an x64 version of MySQL server. 
it will install the server, it will make it a, uh, a service, it will set it up running permanently and it will install a bunch of tools and it'll get you, you know, ask you for a password and a username and everything. It does pretty much everything straight out of the box, so just do that. Don't try one of the zip files, they're a pain in the ass to set up. One of the things it will set up uh, is your MySQL workbench. Now, amongst programmers, there's a lot of programmers that think uh, everything should be done in console apps. You, uh, if you use the GUI for anything, you should be punished. And uh, MySQL workbench is the punishment for people using GUIs. It is horrendous. Um, so, anyway, we've set up our server. Uh, we've run MySQL workbench. Uh, we'll need to create usernames. Uh, which is in here somewhere. Um, I don't want any of this sort of rubbish. Uh, so we're going to set up our usernames and we're going to need to set up um, our database next. In here the database is called create a new schema so you create that, create a database Oops, MMRPG kit, apply and on the left here you'll see there's a tab administration schemas and we'll see there's our MMRPG schema double click on it to select this as the current schema uh, future actions will need it and if we look at tables we'll see there's nothing in there so our second action will be to go to assets unit uh, multiplayer RPG MMO sequels and load the SQL script you can see it a little bit better here you'll see it's just a bunch of create tables create table, create table, create table, etc, etc. So we run that, creates a bunch of stuff, and if we refresh that we will now see a bunch of tables. Uh, if we select user login we'll see this, there's just nothing in there, it's empty. So if we go back um, to our database, or to our, our Unity app, there is we build our server at this point, I'll show that in another video because it gets quite complicated, but this is our server built with address, port, root, password. We'll just run our server and let it start up and then we go back to Unity, I will um, run the Unity client only init and we run that see how we go. We'll connect. Um, I have no username and password Whoops, because I have trashed everything. Register. Login. Create female start game and we're now running the client in Unity off of this server here and if we go to so this was the MMRPG kit SQL, there's our user login notice there was no users now there's one there's our user, if we go to characters we will see the same thing if I select star of rows so, um, you'll be able to fiddle around and edit the database to your heart's content at this point. So that's basically it for setting up a MySQL database. As I said, you can stick with the SQLite and still run an MMO for tests uh, for you know a couple of developers and half a dozen test users off a local client. And the next video I'll do on this will be on actually how to get the server built and run. Um, so you'll if you want to follow that along, you probably need a, a SQL server up and running. So I'll get back to that one now. Have a good night. Cheers.